Well, good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the build of our house. I got glasses on this morning. It's, uh, what time is it? Six in the morning. And I just wanted to start this video this early in the morning because it was an exciting day yesterday and uh, it's just exciting overall. But if you look at the floor, cleaners came and cleaned upstairs, main floor. Uh, they still have to do the basement, but the sanding needs to happen in the basement. Dwayne was here really late last night and got a bunch of, uh, bunch of work done on the electrical. If you look outside, it's like glowing outside. Let's go outside and take a look. So second panel got all wired in. Um, yeah, it looks awesome in here. It's really, really nice. So anyways, we'll go take a peek outside and I'll show you. So there is the box that powers the pot lights. Um, Dwayne got a bunch of those installed. I'm in the basement right now all over the place. That's awesome. So second panel got all wired up. So there's the uh, second panel, looks awesome. And uh, there's lots going on. All right, little update here for you guys. I had my stucco guys out here today and they hoarded in these areas, these lower wall sections. It's evening now. <clears throat> so they hoarded in those lower wall sections. So we could run a heater and finish off the finish coat in there. And I think the priming guys were here today and I believe they got everything primed. All right. Super cool. Let's turn some light on. Oh yeah. That is awesome. So all the walls are primed it looks like. So I'm assuming the ceiling happens from the ceiling guys. Yeah, that looks great. Looks awesome. Feels good to have this thing finally coming together. All right guys, well, I bought new furnace filters. Those guys there to replace the ones that we had in the furnaces originally. Only problem is that uh, I got the wrong size, even though they're the same size. So this one requires a 20 by 25 by four, but apparently the small differences in size, like a quarter inch, it makes all the difference. So can't use those ones, unfortunately. I've already opened one of them. But uh, I, I took the original filters, blew them out, and uh, they're in good shape now that I blew all the, uh, the dust out. So that's done. Uh, next thing I gotta do is we gotta get some plywood on this wall in the mechanical room. So basically we got some half inch plywood outside that we took off the front deck. Uh, we gotta put it on this wall. It's basically just for backing to have stuff to screw into. So we've got some more electrical work that goes right there. Uh, we've got all of our data cables there, which uh, there's like something that goes there. I don't really know what's going on, but anyways, we gotta put plywood up here. It's a little bit sucky because we got all these pipes and stuff to deal with, but uh, it doesn't need to be perfect, just needs to be up and have some backing. So I'm gonna work on this, a little bit lame, a little bit boring, but uh, let's get this done. All right guys, happy Friday today. Today is texture day on the ceiling. That is extremely exciting because once the texture on the ceiling is done, then we can start putting lights in and we can start painting. So it's gonna be an awesome productive weekend of getting that stuff done. So um, hopefully we'll get some shots when the texture's actually happening. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen it really before. I remember my dad doing it when I was younger, but I don't really remember ever actually seeing it in process. So uh, we just spent a little bit of time cleaning some stuff up and uh, the guys are just upstairs prepping. All right guys, so they've got everything prepped off. All the primer's been sprayed everywhere on all the floors. Looks awesome. All right guys, and there's the main floor. Uh, they've got everything prepped off, it looks awesome. And uh, the ceiling just got sprayed, so that's all primer. And the next thing they do is all of the, uh, the texture. Looks wonderful. All right, so I was gonna go take some video of the guy spraying, but they've got the stairs kind of polyed off, so it's all, all sectioned off, so we'll leave them be. 
but we will take a look at how they do it when they do the main floor. All right, guys, well, it feels really good to have stuff actually getting done at the house. Uh, it's very satisfying. So this is the area yesterday that they had uh, hoarded in. So they made scaffold in this area, uh, tarped it all in. We had a heater running in there overnight to dry this uh, finish coat on or dry this finish coat that they installed. So, so that's all done, which is great. So now there's no restrictions for backfilling this area because we built this area up. We've got to basically build next to the house up and that's got to come uh, in in like the halfway point here we got to raise it up about four feet so it's pretty significant but now with this done we can just boom get that installed and uh, it's all good so so that turned out great looks awesome and uh, they're working on the other side today And there's the upstairs guys looks amazing they did a wonderful job in here looks awesome so rewarding to have it at this stage so nice so very happy I'm just cracking a couple windows open uh, like Harris said just to get rid of the moisture help out with the moisture and so uh, one of the nice thing about these windows, tilt and turn windows, so we can just crack them open like this. A little ventilation comes in, and we're good to go. Very cool. All right, guys, it is cleanup day today at the house. Uh, just waiting for Katie to show up with uh, another shop vac. Uh, we got uh, another shop vac from Dwayne, our electrician, so thank you for that. And uh, basically continuing upstairs and just gonna be cleaning, working our way downstairs. So it's quite a process, there's lots to clean. Uh, yes, the uh, cleaners that came in after the sanders, they vacuumed everything, but unfortunately after you prime everything and spray the ceilings and all that kind of stuff, there's a lot more stuff on the ground. So just want to get a clean base, uh, get all the dust dealt with before we start other things. So that's the, uh, the name of the game today, and I don't think we're probably going to get any painting done or started, but uh, we're just going to clean. I'll show you guys outside what the stucco guys did, and it uh, looks awesome. So other than some wind today, it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. So this is the area they had uh, hoarded in last night. Uh, before I went to bed last night, I um, filled up the heater and uh, it was running all night. So uh, they did a wonderful job on this side right here. Looks amazing. And uh, same as the other side, basically now we can backfill this and not have to worry about uh, finishing this wall. Other nice thing that they did was finish around the door. So we hadn't uh, figured out what we're doing around that door, but it's all taken care of now. And uh, that's good. So when we're able to, we will pour concrete in this uh, lower area and uh, then we can build stairs coming up out of the basement. All right guys, it's an exciting day here. Um, so it's about eight o'clock at night. Uh, lots of cool things happened today. And I know I say that basically about everything, but uh, it's gonna be hard to tell, but our walls have their first coat of paint on them on the main floor. Um, there's some walls over at the front entrance that still need to be done, but uh, yeah, we got the first coat of paint on the walls. I didn't paint anything. 
I actually hate painting, I really do. I despise painting, can't stand it, don't like doing it. Um, so I'm glad other people are doing the painting. It makes me feel good. But what I did all day was vacuum the floor. So we actually vacuumed the entire house, every level, all over the place is done and vacuumed and clean. So now we've got a nice, uh, just basically OSB floor and we don't have a bunch of dust floating around all over the house, which is uh, phenomenal. So anyways, the uh, painting's in progress. So painting will continue tomorrow. Um, I think electrician Dwayne's gonna be out here tomorrow and uh, getting more of the electrical stuff done. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, happy with today. So um, probably the biggest thing for me is just not having all the dust floating around. It makes such a difference in here. And uh, I know it's, it sounds like I'm very passionate about it and I am, but uh, it's awesome. So that's kind of the update for today. Uh, it's a nice color, it's just a light gray. Um, yeah, better than pink. It's a little bit more manly looking. Anyways guys, we'll see you tomorrow. <clears throat> All right guys, so a little update for you. Uh, it's the end of the weekend. It is Sunday right now. And basically we have uh, accomplished a fair bit this weekend. Uh, it, was a, it was a good weekend, but uh, I'll show you guys kind of a quick update here. So mechanical rooms cleaned out. Reason for the mechanical room being cleaned out is we have water stuff going in tomorrow. So water stuff being like, uh, um, yeah, water stuff. So basically our cisterns, uh, all of it's not gonna get completed tomorrow, but basically so we'll actually have water in the house, which is a positive, obviously. So uh, we cleaned the mechanical room out. So that's done. Uh, we spent a bunch of time cleaning today in the bakery, so. Just uh, kind of cleaning in here, organizing in here. We kind of got the oven uh, in its resting place. We got the mixer in its resting place. Uh, electrician Dwayne came today and put a plug in for the mixer. And uh, what I got done today, or a big part of my day, was getting the supplies to plumb the sinks. So we just had the rough plumbing coming out of the wall. So I had to do the plumbing for the actual uh, supply on both the main sink and then also the hand washing sink and then the drains and stuff for it as well too But that is basically all done. We just need a couple parts for the hand washing sink But uh, so we got that all done today, which is great um, It's a pretty big job actually just kind of figuring out the puzzle There's not lots of room down there for uh, for plumbing so um, basically you really have to be uh, creative with how that all gets plumbed. So, anyways, that got done, which is again awesome. And then, as we come up the stairs, uh, Kathy was here today as well, and she got a bunch of the rest of the painting on the main floor done. So, that's just the first coat that's been completed. There's still some areas to be cut in. Um, kind of hard to see on camera. Yeah, you can see the difference there. So it's very light gray, has a bit of a blue tone to it, but I like it. I think it looks awesome. But that's gonna be the color of the entire house. So that got done today. I cleaned off the front door. The, uh, the guys that came in and primed everything, um, I actually know them quite well, but they don't spray or they don't prep anything off. So. Uh, there was overspray all over the door. Uh, not the end of the world. It does come off quite easily, but uh, the door looks amazing now that it's not covered in white overspray. So, looks good. So that's pretty much it for uh, for what happened this weekend. We basically got, uh, I mean, well, the painting on the main floor got 50% done. So that is significant. So we have some more help coming out tomorrow to uh, continue painting, I think, upstairs. We're gonna see what happens. But uh, the goal this week is to get a bunch of the painting done. Fingers crossed that our flooring actually shows up this coming week. So we ended up ordering it from Home Depot. They don't have it in stock. It's only available online. And uh, 
the order has been confirmed, meaning the supplier has gotten the order, um, but it hasn't been shipped yet. So uh, we'll see what happens. I really hope that the flooring shows up this week because in an ideal world, painting on the, on the upper floor gets done, main floor gets done, and uh, come later this week, I can start on the flooring. So there's a bunch of prep that needs to be done first. Uh, all of our OSB joints here, um, those all need to be sanded down. So essentially it's doing all the joints on the main floor and upper floor and just making sure they're as level as possible so that when we glue our floor down, you don't see those bumps. Because if you don't get rid of them, you're gonna see them. So quite a bit of floor prep, prep work that needs to happen, but uh, that is part of getting the floor ready to install. So that's the goal this week. I really hope that the flooring shows up. If it does, it's gonna be awesome over the next uh, one to two weeks. And uh, once the flooring goes in, then we can start working on some of the bathrooms, uh, but we cannot do those bathrooms until the flooring comes in just with the way things are designed. So hopefully it all works out. That's, uh, that's the goal. So um, yeah, that's it for today. Have a good night. Well, hello guys and good evening. Uh, it's the next day and uh, just kind of putzing around tonight and taking care of some little things here and there. Um, I did all the vents that were remaining on the outside of the building, so all the bathroom vent <coughs> exhaust uh, vent cover things. So those are done. Um, what else? Just uh, fixed another vent on the roof over on the north side and then just uh, fix some drywall uh, touch-up stuff on the upstairs just to fasten some boards down. So last thing I'm gonna do tonight is we're gonna put caulking all along the counter wall joint here. So that's the next and last step for tonight. We're gonna use black and uh, it uh, should work out nicely. So first step in doing something like this is we're gonna mask both sides so we're gonna be about uh, maybe an eighth of an inch off of the joint here on both surfaces with our masking line. We'll lay down our bead of caulking, we'll tool it with our finger, we'll peel off the masking tape and we'll be left with a nice joint and that will uh, be cured by tomorrow. So that's the next thing I'm doing tonight and uh, the last thing I'm doing tonight. All right guys, so that is step number one, uh, make our tape joints. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna lay down a bead of caulking. Now we got a pretty big gap here to fill, so I'm uh, not being stingy with the caulking. All right, so we've laid down a nice solid bead everywhere. And now I'll take my wet rag, get my finger a little bit wet. Dish soap works well for this. And just give it a nice tooling with your finger. There are special tools for this, but Finger is nice, has a good shape too. The moisture on your finger to pre-wet it really helps to keep the uh, caulking from sticking. Now, with that all done there, next thing we'll do is peel off the tape. And this is kind of the final step that makes this all really work. So we'll do the wall first in case we have anything that comes off with it. Hopefully that'll go on to the tape on the counter. And you want to make sure you pay attention to which way you overlapped your tape. So if you're starting from left to right, you're going to be peeling from left to right because that's the way your tape joints overlap. <laughs> 